Well, I'm here with Christian. And Christian, could you tell me a little bit about um, what you're working on? Sure, absolutely. I'm a technical product manager here in the Microsoft Identity and Security Group, and I'm in charge of the secure messaging solution. OK. What is secure messaging? That's kind of generic. What, what do we mean by that? Well, basically, we are um, supporting our business ready security initiative. We are launching some solutions, and one of those is secure messaging. And what is uh, secure messaging is basically the way how Microsoft is dealing and facing the challenges we have right now uh, around uh, email. How to protect, how to secure email, how to provide um, a secure email platform in a better way to our customers. What, are, what products does that solution encompass? We have uh, several technologies where one of them is Forefront Protection 2010 for Exchange, Forefront Online Protection for Exchange, Active Directory Right Management Services, um, Forefront Unified Access Gateway, Forefront Protection Manager, and last but not least, we have Active Directory Federation Services as well. Okay. What out of this solution would you say are some of the main business challenges that we're trying to address? Yes, yeah, so basically we have many different challenges r right now around email. Based on the fact that this is a pretty critical business tool nowadays, we require anywhere access. Basically people need to have access through mobile devices, kiosk computers, and that's where we have, for instance, UAG providing granular control policies that can validate you know, where you can get into your email platform. That's one of the options. In addition to that, we, we have the challenge to mitigate information leaks. And what that means is that people can be sending perhaps sensitive information like uh, forecasts or budget plans. That information can be intercepted through the integration with Exchange 2010 and Active Directory Rent Management Services and mitigate that this information can go uh, to the wrong hands or people can manipulate that information in a wrong way. And in addition to that, uh, one of the biggest challenges that exists right now is spam. Companies uh, complain about the fact that uh, 15 of their emails are basically, uh, of 16 emails are infected uh, or they are spam useless information that basically confuse their employees or uh, has been used by hackers to compromise those computers. So taking care of that using, for instance, a ledger approach with Forefront Protection for Exchange and Forefront Online Protection for Exchange could help us to mitigate uh, virus infections uh, through that specific channel. All right, so can you show us a demo, maybe that kind of showcases a lot of these different technologies together? Absolutely, let's do it right now. What I would like to show you first is how, to, how we can provide uh, uh, secure access to email. Um, this is going to, what I'm going to show is UAG, uh, how UAG provide uh, granular control of what people can do using um, basically uh, Outlook Web Access. So what I'm going to do is basically access the UAG portal. And um, it's going to show really quick that it's going to, it's, it's doing a compliance check as you can see right now. So what that means is that it's validating what is the computer configuration at this time before I can get into the uh, application portal. I will log on as Chris. Um, what I'm going to get, as you will see, is just basically all the different applications that this user has access to. And you will see that some of those applications are grayed out uh, because they do not uh, achieve the, the policy requirements on this platform. Basically, what is happening is that this computer doesn't have an antivirus such as forefront endpoint protection to mitigate uh, infection. So this could be riskier for the organization. This could be a, a security risk. Uh, we can get more details here on the UAG portal. And what it's saying, as you can appreciate now, is that uh, the, there is no antivirus on this specific computer and the, par the personal firewall is not detected. So this could be a potential uh, point of uh, infection. Um, even though they don't have access or I don't have access to this uh, different application as Chris, uh, log on this computer, I can have access to OWA and I will show you um, some additional things that he can and he cannot do using this interface. First thing that we see here is that Alan sent him a request and he's asking for some information about trade engineering. 
he's going to reply uh, back to them and he's going to uh, basically send that information back to to this specific uh, people so he's including Alan and all the sales uh, team on this response okay so basically what I'm uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I will try to send this file back to to Alan and the sales team and keep in mind that this user doesn't has an antivirus on that computer so when I click attach the first thing that is going to happen is that I won't be able to do that I can check email as I said he won't be able to attach any file uh, because of this computer status so what I'm gonna do is I will basically request somebody else to uh, provide that information back to the sales team after this done uh, we will switch to another computer so um, now we are in ROM which is uh, another computer this time we are using uh, the regular Outlook client Outlook 2010 and what we are seeing now is that um, the, we are logged as Joe and he just received uh, an email from Chris Preston basically is that previous mail that we uh, saw before uh, uh, the interesting thing and the first thing that I would like to highlight is the fact that this mail got automatically protected uh, based on on the keywords that we um, include on this mail uh, the first thing that we identified automatically using this new exchange 2010 feature is the purchase order word and this text pattern which is just basically the uh, in this uh, specific example the purchase order number uh, and and what the user can do with this information is just view that specific mail he cannot edit that mail he cannot copy or print uh, that one he, all those options basically as you can see now are completely uh, disabled he won't be able to do any of those actions and and this happened automatically the um, the user that we use in the OWL, uh, the OWA client he never uh, applied protection to it it was just exchange who is now taking care of that mail using the RMS integration capabilities so let's let's reply back that mail and let's continue with our demonstration uh, he's going to send that file back to um, all the different um, uh, people that need to receive this report so he's attaching this specific file into that mail and, and sending that as the customer profile information back to um, Chris and all the other guys keep in mind that this mail is RMS protected so it's going to be encrypted from end to end starting from the client side so he sent that information back to Chris and the other folks in the sales team now I'm going to switch back to the kiosk computer alright so we just received that uh, email response back from Joe uh, we can see that we still have the attachment file on it so let's review what we got we will save this uh, file and the uh, user desktop and open it and what we got is basically that this file got clean through um, for from protection for exchange even though this email was encrypted on previous day it was a big big challenge to deal with and face this kind of problem encryption was a great benefit but at the same time many of the technologies that provides uh, content scanning were unable to basically apply that um, review and clean on that kind of content exchange 2010 with the integration that provides with forefront protection for exchange and active directory right management services the, it provides that capability we can basically scan open that encrypted mail scan it clean it and send it over to the recipients who need to have access to them in a safe way so this is just basically the demo I got uh, for you today showing all the different technologies just to recap uh, secure access through UAG automatic protection using Active Directory Rate Management Services um, um, in addition to that content inspection and clean even though that mail got, was encrypted 
using far from protection for exchange. And last but not least, what we are seeing here is uh, RMS um, capabilities in OWA. So now you can see RMS protected content or create RMS protected mails without, without having to install a plugin on the client computer. Thank you very much.